Radio Papito B7 point agenda. One, securing and uniting Nigeria. Two, effective legal and institutional reforms. Three, production-centered growth for food security. Four, leapfrogging Nigeria out of oil dependency to the fourth industrial revolution. Five, human capital development for effective competitiveness. Six, expanding physical infrastructure through market driven reforms. Seven, robust foreign policy that will restore Nigerians' strategic relevance in the international community. In all these things, they are the things he did and he had done as the governor of Anambra State. Recall, when he was in Anambra State, security was so insecurity was so removed that the IG of police then Mohammed said within five years of OB regime no successful bank robbery took place none is on record the kidnapper Evans ran away from an armed state and he said OB security tactic chased him away but you were the first one who started demolishing any home that is owned by kidnappers. And you know what? He said he is going to implement this thing through three level policy federal, state, and community. He used the community vigilante. He was one of the governors that did it. Obi inherited via the first governor of Anambra State PDP. He was the only governor in PDP that was not returned because of his mala administration. So, um, Gige had a stopgap, and after that, Obi came in. So, he inherited terrible Anambra State that was coming last in Wayek through human capital development. Within two years, Anambra State started coming first in Wayek. So, can you imagine? We had a PC that inherited foreign currency, and they are now coming last in the world. I said they have failed us 735 percent of the time. Then we be inherited an educational system that was last and catapulted it to second. So first, yeah. within two three years. No, 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 I, I, now, I, I, and I'd like to ask you this: so those who will question uh, because uh, the capacity of Mr. Peter Obi, if you put him on the same pedestal yes. uh, with some of his opponents or some of his fellow contestants. Uh, in the race, for example, um, you look at at least three or four of them that have been former governors of their states. Um, uh, Robbie Musokunkunso was a former governor of Kano State. Bola Tinubu, a former governor of Lagos State. Uh, Peter Obi, a former governor of Anambra State. Uh, Atiku Abubaka was elected, but became a vice president uh, eventually. So they, they talk about their profile, their track record when uh, they were governors, and those who will say, oh, Peter B, that you're talking about under him, uh, you talk about education system in Nigeria, under him there was a, a, a strike and on ending for about 13 months or thereabout. These are question marks that have been raised about the capacity of Mr. Peter B. And to think that those who have argued also that, look, a state, governing a state, is a different kettle of fish entirely to handling a very complex Nigeria. Very good. I am going to talk about this, just citing what other people have said. The spokesperson of APC came here and he told you, P2B is better than Atiku. And the reason is because P2B was in a position to take executive pos uh, decisions and Atiku has never been. So that's settled. When you talk about Tinubu, you just say former governor. He has not held any other post except former governor. Good. He was there for eight years. PW was governor for eight years. So when you talk about capacity to be very respectful to these gentlemen, they are men of desperation. They are not men of destination. At 80 years, what can they offer? You cannot force a disunited party on a disunited country to But collapse. those who think that Peter Obi belonged to that same political class of... He was a former PDP. Now he left 
I mean, how would you say, how would you define Peter Obi yeah. if you say, uh, would you say that Peter Obi is a different, cut from the different cloth? All right. Because he was a former PDP member. Okay. Now, and uh, you've criticized PDP. Very good. I wish you were sitting here and I'm sitting here and I'll ask you some very tough questions. When he was in PDP, did he, by any means, occupy any executive position for which he took any decision? None. I was in PDP, entered APC, and I'm in level. He was the governor of Anambra State, APGA. He entrenched APGA so much in Anambra State through good governance that even he himself could no longer uproot APGA. You can imagine that level of good governance that Anambra State became sentimentally attached to APGA because of the foundation of governance that Peter B. built.